Five bad money habits that are keeping you poor. One, not budgeting. One of the biggest money mistakes people make is not creating and sticking to a budget. Without a budget, it's easy to overspend and lose track of where your money is going. How do you expect to achieve financial freedom if you can't even manage the money you currently have? Creating a budget and sticking to it will help you identify areas where you can cut back on unnecessary expenses and redirect those funds towards your financial goals. Divide your income up like this. 50% for needs, 30% for wants, and 20% for savings and financial goals. If you can put more into the savings and financial pot, even better. 2. Spending more than you earn. Another common mistake is spending more than you earn. This is a surefire way to get yourself into debt and financial stress. If you're constantly relying on credit cards or loans to make ends meet, it's time to reevaluate your spending habits and find ways to reduce expenses and increase income. It's the little expenses that add up quickly, and before you know it, your bank is back in the red again, and you are using your overdraft, or even worse, stacking credit card debt. Go through your bank statements for the past three months and make a list of everything you spent money on. I bet there are a lot of things you can cut out. If you cut just $1.10 lunch each week, it would add up to more than $1.500 a year in savings. 3. Ignoring bad debt. Ignoring bad debt will keep you poor. High-interest credit card debt can quickly spiral out of control, and the longer you wait to pay it off, the more interest you'll accrue. Make a plan to pay off your debt as quickly as possible starting with the highest interest balances first. On the topic of debt, those of you that decided to get that nice car on finance, even though you can just about afford it, get rid of it. If you can't pay for it twice, then you can't afford it. Stretching yourself beyond your means and taking on debt to do so doesn't make you look good. It just tells people you can't manage your money. I bet it would be pretty embarrassing if you had to return your fancy whip after you bragged about it online. Four not saving for emergencies. Not having an emergency fund is a bad place to be in. Unexpected expenses, such as car repairs or medical bills, can quickly drain your savings and put you in debt. Aim to save at least three to six months worth of living expenses in an emergency fund to provide a cushion in case of financial emergencies. We all experience rainy days and I bet you would rather face them stress-free and secure, knowing you have enough saved to get through them. Five, not investing. Not investing can also prevent you from achieving financial independence. While saving is important, investing can help your money grow and build wealth over time. Even if you begin with just a small portion of your income, investing something is better than nothing. The secret to becoming rich is to make money work for you instead of you working for money. Start small with something like index funds, and then over time, as you increase your income, you can further expand your investment portfolio to include stocks crypto, real estate, and much more. Please subscribe, like, and share for more videos.